<sighs> so, you want to learn about full sale, huh? Hi, my name is Michael Lamberti. I am a uh, film production MFA student at Full Sail University. I am a director, I'm a writer, I am a editor, also a camera operator, and also I am a costume designer. That's all, that's... Yeah, I need a vacation. <laughs> but anyways, hello, very nice to meet you. Uh, obviously, by the title of this uh, video, you are interested in Full Sail University. And obviously, uh, depending on when this uh, video comes out. Uh, we are, I would say, we're near to the end of the pandemic. Um, I would say, you know, uh, because at the moment, uh, Full Sail is now reopening its doors 100% now and around June and fully, fully opening their doors in August. So it's gonna be um, very interesting in the next uh, couple of months. Uh, for us and especially for my group because uh, we started the program in January and that's when you know Full Sail was technically closed. They were supposed to reopen in January but that didn't really happen unfortunately because of the numbers and everything like that. Um, but yeah, but anyways, I'm going to tell you the, the, the good things that I went through during this program, also my cons and also um, what the exciting things are going to be happening at a Full Sail. Um, also, this is just something for people to be honest because I've been seeing a lot of negativity about Full Sail and I feel like I need to put my own two cents into this because, you know, some people just don't understand what the film industry is because it's, there's so much into it. So I'm going to get into why some people might say a lot of negative things about Full Sail. Here's a spoiler. They didn't do anything. So don't listen to them. Uh, one of the things that Full Sail really hounds into is that networking is the most important thing you can ever do in your career. It doesn't matter how big or small your career goals are. Networking is so important. It's pretty much the most essential thing you can ever do as a filmmaker or as an actor or anything in, your, in whatever you want to go for. Um, so for me, um, there, luckily, when I started the program in January, uh, there was these things called the production hours. So the, they will, the professors will write a movie, right? They had three other scripts. There was a horror script, there was a science fiction script, and there was also a uh, crime noir film that a, um, a student will have to direct and also produce. And obviously, whoever is wants to volunteer, they could come in and actually work on the film as well. So to gain some experience. Uh, right there, it's actually a really awesome opportunity for you to network because in the program, students will have to be uh, making a thesis film for order for them to graduate on time. So uh, after my, uh, my a, a couple of production labs later, I was asked to not only be an actor for people's production, uh, but also as a second AC and also um, a couple of sound opportunities, which was interesting because I have no sound equipment. <laughs> um, but luckily, you know, um, at Full Sail, you could obviously grab and rent out equipment before you could actually buy equipment so you know what brand you want to work with. So that's what's really cool about Full Sail. He actually lets you test out some equipment and rent it out. Uh, for uh, for the whole month to see if you like like it or not, and then you could probably like buy it, uh, not obviously from the campus, but probably on Amazon. But I'm gonna way too ahead of myself. But yeah, with the production hours, it's a really cool opportunity for you to uh, network with other students and help out in their productions. So far, I have done a, a bunch of productions uh, recently. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, this is all the sticky notes. I'm not sure how good you can see it because of the uh, of the lighting, but there's some of the productions I've helped out from uh, since November to all the way to March, and that's from April to um, it's gonna be to August. Also, I do want to let people know, like um, in this program, this could be a con to some people, especially for people with learning disability, um, which I can emphasize with it because I also have a learning disability and also have Asperger's. 
So pretty much what I mean about that is um, sometimes in uh, each month there will be a different course. So in one month you'll be having like a introduction class of about filmmaking as a whole. So you learn about like you know there's a thing about directing, writing, uh, cinematography, all that stuff. And then there will just be another month specifically just writing. Then another one that's just directing, and then another one just producing, and then another one about actually making your own films. It's really cool because you get to at least have a taste of something different like each month in case, oh, okay, that month was just so hot. Uh, maybe the next month will be a lot more engaging. And usually it is. What's really cool about the full sales professors is like they tell you how it is. Um, for me, I don't like the sugarcoat things, and I don't like when professors sugarcoat things. And I really love how honest they were. Um, like in the film industry, things, you know, if you want things to be good, you know, people will want to hire you. So if you're doing a good job of whatever department you're in, it's good that you are always on your doing a good job constantly. So that's something to keep in mind. And professors would let you know if you're stepping out of line or if you if your work could be better or they and they will tell you what to work on so it's not just like your work sucks can you tell me why no <laughs> like some professors would be uh, but what's really cool about the professors they literally just tell you how it is and they'll legit tell you like what is not working and they tell you like how to work on it in a way um, so I really like how the professors are like that to me um, uh, and also about to they pretty much let you know that networking is going to be the most important thing in your industry. I'm pretty sure I already talked about this in the beginning of the video, but networking is such a really important thing because networking is such so essential that will legit keep you, you know, keep you working in a way. Uh, it's not you would think, oh yeah, I got my resume, I got my reel, I'm good. I just gotta wait, but. No offense, man, but if you don't know people, why should people care? If, if that makes any sense. Like, um, if you don't know people in the industry, why should they even care of your existence? That's a big thing for me. Like, um, networking is such a huge important thing because that's gonna keep you working. So if you want to keep working, keep connecting with people, keep talking to them. Even if connections, you know, you previously had, keep working with them because that's gonna continue giving you more experience. And then when a big opportunity comes in, it's all gonna be worth it in the end. So um, it's not like, um, I think some people at Full Sail mistaken this co college being like, oh, I got a PhD, hire me, man. I know what I'm doing. All right, sure. Can you give me, uh, show me your work? You have anything to show your work? No, I don't have anything to show. Just hire me, and you know, I need the experience anyways. You can go now. That's, I mean, that's how, it's, it's just how it is. That's how the film industry is really, unfortunately. Um, especially with the big companies, you know, sometimes, you know, you don't go to them, they go to you. And if your work speaks a lot what they want, they will definitely contact you for that opportunity. So networking, it's gonna be the Did my fridge just purr at me? Network is gonna be a really big thing in your industry. So once you're at the, those production labs, make sure whatever job you are doing, even if it's not the job that you specifically want, just make sure you always give 110% into your work and you should be golden. So, and people will keep giving you jobs. So you, that resume will build instantly on just alone because you are making the work happen and your eth your work ethic is basically doing the work for you, if that makes any sense. Um, so here comes some of the cons and keep in mind, this is not full sales fault. This is just COVID-19, just being COVID-19. And actually it was gonna be really exciting in June because they're gonna be opening up campus again in June. So it's really exciting. Um, I've obviously I've been on campus a couple times because of production hours, but this will be my first time sitting on campus to go to a classroom. That alone brings so much joy to my face right now because the fact that I get to go to class again in person and I haven't been in an actual classroom since March of 2020. 
that's a big thing. And I'm super excited. I'm super excited to get back to class. Like, it's going to be amazing. Um, this was a negative, depending if what day or time you are watching this. Uh, because during the co uh, COVID-19, there weren't really enough, like, uh, networking opportunities. Uh, because obviously COVID-19 ruins everything and also some clubs were very inactive because of COVID um, So do keep in mind that you know since networking is gonna be a very essential part of it of Your overall career in the program uh, Definitely join as much clubs and organizations as you can my biggest recommendation will be the Orlando independent filmmakers uh, they have been keeping me busy since uh, March and I'm now being asked to work on professional sets now. Uh, also, uh, I'm getting connections within the actual people within the industry. And also, here's a little fun fact about the professors. The professors are constantly working in the film industry. It's not like, oh, I haven't been in the industry since 2001. That, yeah, it's not, not like that. They are still constantly working and while teaching. And that's what's amazing. They're a they're able to teach us students about filmmaking while they are working on their own stuff. That just blows my mind. Uh, so um, a little th uh, I'm not sure if this is like a pro or a con, but I'm gonna say this both. Um, each month, depending on you know when your group comes in. Uh, what I mean about group is pretty much whenever you sign up, you know when you want to. Do your full sale experience uh, there will be a group of people that you will uh, you will be working with from the beginning of the program and depending if they drop out or not to the very end of the program and so with me if you like to work on films with people and you're a really good collaborator um, that's your first set of connections right then and there and if you ch choose to be a team player you're gonna have a really fun time and it's kind of like a second family in a way um, but with that in mind, you know, like any group, there's going to be drama, of course. There's, you know, <laughs> when, it, when is it never drama? If you are one of those people that really hates drama, and if you have that leadership quality to bring people together, that's a really awesome quality to have. And, you know, uh, I was, of course, it really all depends on the person, really. You know, if, you, if everyone seems to get along really well, that's great. Um, now I'm not saying like your group is going to have like drama what, right up the butt or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying like, you know, you're going to have some situations that, you know, leadership, you know, calls for leaders and some days, you know, you're going to have to just, you know, roll with the punches or just admit that you're wrong. Even if you're, if you think you're not wrong, but at the same time, this is the film industry. If you know you're doing something wrong, admit that. Because, you know, that what you do on set or what you do in, in, in private or whatever you do in public says about your character. If people say, oh, this person said this or this person did this behind someone's back, um, they probably will not want to work with you again. That's just the honest truth about it. And uh, if you are a team player, you're willing to go beyond um, the limits. Uh, with me, when I came into the program, I was just very scared of what what would happen or uh, what's to be expected in a way. Uh, but in the very early on in my program, I actually got one of the professors legit praising me during production hours because I was doing something that students should be doing. Uh, which to me, that would be the um, the best accomplishment in my opinion. Uh, during the program is legit having a professor um, praising my work ethic and that shows it um, so uh, with that in mind <laughs> um, I'm like any program you're gonna have some ups and downs depending on the person and my biggest um, my biggest advice for you is just connect with your professors treat them like human beings like if you how you want to be treated and also um, you just be try to be friends with everybody you know everyone's going through the same boat as you are a lot of people a little bit are uncertain where they're going to be going right after college 
So I would say just try to create uh, as much films as you possibly can. Uh, make up your own short film. Don't make a film just for class. Legit, just make films like you, you want to make films. Like with me, I'm actually producing my own short film while doing college at the same time, while also working on other films as well, and while also doing my thesis film. So right now, I'm overworked as hell because, you know, it's not that in, in a, it's not because it's Full sales fault. It's mostly mine because that's just who I am. I like to work and everything like that. So if you have that dedication to keep constantly working hard for what you're going to do, you are definitely going to succeed at Full sale. And if you get along with pretty much everybody, you're, you're good. You'll be fine. Um, in the program and also in real life because people want people that they could like rely on and get along with and if you guys one of those people that you don't get along with and you have you just have this overall just this bitchy attitude and this just try to like um, be a dictator or, or a tyrant over everything and try to sign people up for pe things that um, they don't want to do or you can't communicate right um, no offense, no matter who you are, or what accomplishments you have succeeded, or how successful you are, or how rich you are, or how poor you are, your career would just be like, Ugh! I know that's a, a little exaggerated way, but it's, it's really how it is, honestly. And, you know, the professors will tell you, like, how it is, and you know what? Also, students will tell you how it is as well. And um, so, it's always uncertain who's gonna make it in the film industry, who's not gonna be in the film industry after college. Um, but if you want my honest opinion, get along with as much people as you can, because who knows? The person that you're gonna possibly be talking to could be the next big filmmaker. And this person will probably will hire you on the next big cinematic universe. Can you like imagine that? Like if, if, and also if you're starting fights with this person, you're going to be blacklisted on the production and because of a stupid situation at college. So if you want my honest opinion about Full Sail University, it's 100% fully worth it. Did I just seriously make that pun just now? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, uh, honest opinion, Full Sail is definitely worth it. And all the things that I've seen on social media, like how people say like Full Sail is a scam. Uh, no offense, you know, uh, either A, like you didn't um, do anything in your program. You didn't take any advantage of what Full Sail provides. Um, also, at the same time, uh, you... Did you get along with anybody on set? Because that's a big factor. And also, um, yeah, just those big things. Did you, what did you do? Did you at least try? That's my big, biggest thing. Did you at least try to make it in a way that do you even like, uh, did you even go out of your apartment? Did you just play video games all day? That's my biggest uh, question for some people. But if you are thinking about Full Sail University, Definitely give them a go and also ask questions. And also if you feel a little bit hesitant about uh, Full Sail, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out on my Instagram. My DMs are always open and I can answer any questions that you have about Full Sail University that I personally know. Um, I will be graduating in December and we'll see what happens after that. Um, because right now um, I have possible futures ahead of me and actually, um, because I've worked my butt off and there's gonna be an opportunity just waiting to be open. And I just gotta do is just knock. So uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. But also uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I probably will be kind of be doing this vlog uh, type of series of just me just talking about TVs, movies, or video games, or just wholesale overall about the program and also some behind the scenes stuff about uh, some of my films uh, that I will be doing in the near future. So. I uh, can't wait to see you there. Anyways, guys, take care of yourselves. Make sure you drink water. Ciao.